This guy don't want to come up. Let me try to get him up here, guys. Haha, <laughs> guys. Got a little pinfish. Perfect. Get him up. Probably rig him up. Actually, there he is. Yeah, he's pretty good size. Got the pinfish on. See if something comes from it. Got something good, guys. Look at that. Oh, he's way over there. What's up guys, your boy Jay Fisher here. And today guys, we're back at this pier. Uh, it's actually the same conditions as the day I caught the snook. So uh, we're hoping for that, but uh, you, you know me guys, I won't be upset if I catch pretty much anything out here. So let's see what happens guys. But anyways, I'll let y'all know if I catch something. All right guys, well I stopped at the bait shop. Got me some nice live shrimp here. This is what I was using the day of the snook. So let's see what happens guys. I'm gonna uh, cast one out there, see if I can get something. Guys, we got something here. See what it is. Oh, another little shark, guys. Wow. All right. Let me get him up, guys. This guy don't want to come up. Let me try to get him up here, guys. It's another little bonnet head. He's not tired at all. <laughs> Let me see if I can get him up here, guys. All right, guys, we got him up. It's a little tiny one. I'm surprised my uh, rod was able to get him up there. I got a small rod, guys. It's just my medium light. But uh, let me get this hook out of him and get him out. All right, guys, got him off the hook. Let me try. To... He's a little green still, so I try to. Uh... There we go. All right, got him here. Let's get him out, guys. Get back in there. Get out of here, buddy. Got something guys come on up what are you oh my it's a decent redfish guys nice i just had this line right over the uh the pier let me get him up guys oh i wonder if that's a keeper looks a little small but i'm gonna try let's see guys. let's go guys it's a nice redfish look at the spot on him guys <laughs> nice and pretty come here buddy uh i'm gonna measure him up he does look a little small but uh let me see if i can get it see if uh what size he is guys all right, guys. Well, not a keeper, but a pretty little redfish, guys. Look at that spot on him, guys. Oh, he's got two spots on that side. Oh, wow, he's got two on that side and none on this side, guys. Look at that, he's got no spots on this side. But anyways, guys, let me get him back. Get out of here, buddy. Go on. We got something else, guys. Oh, it's just a ladyfish. All right. Let me get him up here, guys. Come on up. Come on up here. Come here, Mr. Lady. I don't know if I want to keep this guy for cup bait, guys. I don't have too many shrimp. I might. Let me see. Nah, guys, I'm getting back in there. We got a good amount of shrimp. And uh, I'm pretty sure we'll catch another one, guys. I'd like a smaller one, I guess. But uh, yeah, guys, they're biting fast. So let's get back in there. Oh, we got another red, guys. Pretty little redfish. Yeah. Look at this redfish, guys. Let me get him up. Nice. There he is, guys. Pretty little spot. A little blue on the tail. Let's get him back in. Get out of here, buddy. Well, guys, I guess it's a redfish kind of evening. We got another one here. Let's go, guys. Let me get him up. Look at this, guys. Pretty little spots on him. He's pretty small. Let me get him back. Got the spots on this side. All right. We're getting back in, guys. A little bit of blue on the tail. Here he is, guys. Get back in there, buddy. What do we got here, guys? Oh. Come on. Oh, it's a ladyfish, guys. Oh, man. There it is. A little bit of action. <laughs> All right. Let me get him up, guys. After the redfish, ladyfishes. It's okay. I'll take it. <laughs> here he is, guys. A little ladyfish action. <laughs> they still give up a good fight, guys. There he is, guys. Get back in there, buddy. Well, guys, it's pretty good sunset time. 
something's happening over there i hear keep hearing fireworks so somebody's having a good time but uh so are we out here <laughs> just catching redfish uh decent size ones too guys actually they're bigger than the ones i was catching that one day or about the same size but uh yeah guys let's uh keep going i got a couple more live shrimp but uh it's been a pretty good day guys just a quick little trip out here to this pier that's been paying off every time i come now so we'll see what happens but uh let me get back in there guys and i'll let y'all know haha <laughs> guys got a little pinfish perfect we needed one of these perfect size too let me uh get him up probably rig him up actually he might be a little big i'm not sure what i want to do yet guys there he is yeah he's pretty good size i'll probably throw him on here guys let's see if we get something with him got the pinfish on see if something comes from it something good guys look at that oh he's right over there not sure what this is guys Oh yeah. Oh no. It's a huge snow. Oh my god. No. 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 Wow. Oh man, guys look at that clean cut i thought we got some of the footage on video but the fish actually never showed itself on the camera but i seen it guys it was a nice size snook had to be it was definitely slot size i'll say that but got me right under the pier he made a run for it shook off clean cut guys damn it. guys i didn't record this because i thought it was a ladyfish Look at this guys a baby snook <laughs> that's crazy right after that huge one that i lost guys i guess this is somewhat of a redemption let me get him off guys <laughs> this is crazy guys i really thought it was a ladyfish he was just jumping up and around but baby snook let me get him back in oh guys i guess it's somewhat of a little uh cheery up but man if i would have had that big one guys that's crazy all right guys let me get this guy back in there get out of here buddy get bigger like the other one hey guys i'm upset about the other fish but that's fishing you lose them guys especially fishing off a pier like this and not only that guys uh you know hey it, it happens that's that's just the name of the game uh it's unfortunate but hey got to keep moving guys keep coming out here i know they're here now i'm definitely going to be coming back so much more especially when the conditions are like this now i know and uh guys they're here that's all you got to know Another little baby snook, guys. Let me get him up. <laughs> These are somewhat of redemption for that big one I lost. Let me get him up here. Here he is, guys. This one's a little bigger. Nothing like the one we lost, but hey, we got to take what we can get, guys. A little about 12 inch snook, guys. <laughs> Sunset in the back. Let me get him back in. Little baby one, guys, but hey, we're on him now, guys. <laughs> All right, little buddy. Get back in there. Get out of here grow up bigger we want you to get real big <laughs> oh man guys these little bugs are getting real bad so pretty much gonna call it oh, i'm trying to get over that fish guys i really am it's hard but hey they're out here guys and we're gonna get them one day don't worry <laughs> i'll bring you guys a slot size snook i know i will i have faith i will so for now i'm probably getting out of here because these bugs guys are literally eating me alive so I'll see you guys either back at the house for an outro or uh, maybe in the car, but I'll see you guys then. The next day. All right, guys. Well, it's the next day from uh, that snook. Guys, I'm still not over it. It sucks, man. But I have realized from watching the video over the clip that you guys will see. Uh, actually, my brother was there. So um, fortunately, I told him I, I, I gave him my uh, camera and I said, hey, do me a favor and record this real quick. 
and I, we, I didn't get the initial hook on. That was the craziest part, guys. As soon as I felt, because I don't know, man, snooker funny. It's like he ate it and then stood there for a bit. And when I hooked him, he was gone. <laughs> he took off. And that it was when I was in shock. I was like, oh my God, there's something huge. Like, I feel it. And uh, there was no stopping him at first. But then I, I reacted and I told him, I said, here, record this for me. So you guys are going to see me uh, fight the fish. But uh, I did realize, well, afterwards, in the moment, guys, I don't know if I'm the only one that this happens to, but I can't think. Like, my 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 first and only priority is get that fish here. Get him back. And uh, so I fought him. As you guys can tell, I wasn't thinking at all. Um, and there's a few mistakes that I made. And I know these now after rewatching that clip a hundred times, trying to see if my brother got any footage of the fish. The only glimpse I got of the fish, guys, I got him on the side of the pier. And the reason that I know it was at least a slot size, but I, it might have been over slot, guys, was because the pilings from that pier, uh, it was it was almost tip to tip on the pilings. So next time I go out there, I have to measure those pilings just to see how far away they are from each other. But I can imagine they're about three feet. So that's like 36 inches, guys. Uh, it's so upsetting that I didn't get them, but... We got we, we go and we fight again guys we, we go out we hunt them they're there guys that's what i do know but the mistakes that i think i made guys well number one i know for sure which this is a controversial mistake and it's not really a mistake it's more of like a i guess a, a technique that works sometimes but sometimes it doesn't um i had 15 pound tests on that leader guys so you can only imagine a snook that size if the leader touches its gill plate it's it's over it, it's cut clean cut right then and there so uh that is one of my first mistakes, which like I said, it's hard to call that a mistake because I've heard when the snook are real finicky, you're not getting them with anything too heavy. So that's one. The second one is I didn't let him tire out before I got him to the pier, guys. I, I, like I said, my priority was get him to the pier. I didn't stop to think if I let him tire out, out in, in the out, because there's no structure there. If he, I just let him run and just let him get tired, I'll be able to at least try to flip him or now I'm debating on getting a pier net, which is another mistake. I don't have a pier net. I never expected to catch something that big, guys. It was crazy, man. But hey, I'm glad it happened because I know they're there, guys. That's the second time now. I know they're there. And um, the third mistake was also the side of the pier. I didn't choose the perfect spot to reel him into. I actually brought him into the center of the pier. So what he did was he made runs down under the pier. And there's so many pilings there that it was so easy for him. If he wanted to, he could have wrapped me around the piling. I was able to kind of finagle my way to not let him do that. But still, it was uh, it could have happened that way. And then it would I would have lost him anyways. So I have to remember to get him to the side of the pier where it's more open. So if he does make a run under it, he really can't wrap me around too many pilings. But yeah, guys, so those are just three mistakes that I made uh, on that pier. Obviously, if I was on the shore, I probably wouldn't have made any of those mistakes, but it's not the best spot on the shore to cast to where I've been catching them. So we move, guys. We keep trying. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this, guys. It was very, very one of my favorite trips out there so far. I will say that's definitely one of my dream fish, guys a slot or over slot snook and to already have them have hooked one and seen that I had it is already good enough but I want to be able to get that picture guys with holding that snook in my hands so we're gonna go back guys it's act this actually the next day so I'm definitely going back today because the conditions are exactly the same and today is a new moon guys so that means that the, the fish are very, very active according to uh, a couple of sites and stuff that I use so we're gonna see what happens guys but you guys got to tune in to the next episode to see if I caught him, guys. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this content, guys. I know I didn't get a, a picture of the snook or footage of the actual snook. And that is my own fault. And also, I had my little brother helping me. And, uh, you know, I, I can't blame him. He, he didn't know what he was doing in the moment. He didn't know how to fully record me. So at least he got the footage of me fighting it. And to me, that's enough. And hopefully you guys can tell by how my rod was bending and how it was pulling that. That was a pretty big fish, guys. So, uh yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys uh, can leave a like, maybe uh, subscribe, or just watch a couple more of my videos. I really appreciate that, guys. It helps my channel grow, and uh, it means the world to me. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. But uh, tune in to the next one, guys, because I'm going to go out there again, and I'm hunting them, guys. I'm going to get them. I know I am. Uh, I'm, I'm positive of that, guys. But remember, guys, always keep a positive mindset. Uh, have a blessed week. Good luck out there fishing, and I'll see you all here ne back next time. Peace.